welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be really different and you must be thinking why she has applied so much highlighter on this side and not on this side so obviously you have seen the title and that's why you have clicked on the video today i'm going to diy the farsali's jelly beam highlighter uh, farsali they recently launched their new jelly beam highlighter and seriously guys it's the most stunning highlighter i've ever seen it's so beautiful but i'm not able to find it anywhere in australia so i just thought let me go ahead and make my own jelly beam highlighter and it came out so good as you can see it's so pigmented and it's looking so beautiful and you can use this highlighter as any cream highlighters or even you can mix it with your foundation to make your foundation really glowing and if you want to glow like a goddess you can apply it on your body as well so first let me show you guys the texture of this highlighter as you can see it's very fluffy and very thick and it's very jiggly like a, a jelly so the texture is very similar to the jelly beam highlighter and first i'm going to show you guys what are all the things you need to make this highlighter and then i'm going to show you guys the application of it as well so if you're interested how to make your own jelly beam highlighter then please keep on watching now first thing you're going to need is an empty container and i've taken this one it comes with a lid as well and this is transparent because i wanted to show you guys how the consistency and the texture of this highlighter but you can take any clean container now for the ingredients first i'm going to take the aloe vera gel and this is from patanjali but you can take any aloe vera gel of any brand and i'm going to put 3 teaspoon of this aloe vera gel into the container but first if you want to try this highlighter just take a half of the quantity which i'm taking so one tip i'm going to give you guys uh, do not use uh, only aloe vera gel if you're making a highlighter because aloe vera gel is very sticky in consistency uh, and if you try to blend your highlighter it's not going to give you that smooth application so that's why i'm putting the second ingredient which is the primer and for that i'm taking this uh, rimmel's uh, fix and perfect primer now the consistency of this primer is perfect for this uh, highlighter because we want that fluffy consistency but if you want very liquidy kind of highlighter you can even put nivea after shave balm in it And second tip I'm going to give you guys is that do not use moisturizer in your highlighters because moisturizer it usually absorbs in your skin and it's not going to give you that smooth application. So for that that's why I'm using a primer. Now let me show you guys the consistency of this primer. This is how it looks and we want this thick kind of a primer. And I'm taking 1 teaspoon of this uh, primer with 3 teaspoon of aloe vera gel. Again if you want less a uh, quantity of this highlighter just take half of the quantity. which i'm putting now the third ingredient i'm taking is the glycerin and glycerin it's going to add a beautiful shine to your highlighter but do not use a lot of it i'm taking like 5 to 6 drops of it only now next thing which you're going to need is a facial oil i'm taking this rosehip oil and uh, you're going to need only facial oils you can even take vitamin e oil as well but do not use almond oil coconut oil or the olive oil cuz they're very thick and they're not going to absorb in your skin and facial oils are usually very light in texture and they usually get uh, absorb in your skin really well so you need facial oils and i'm going to put only 4 to 5 drops of it Now I'm going to mix everything really well before putting the pigments and as you can see the consistency is really fluffy and thick this is what we want for our jelly beam highlighter Now for the pigments I'm taking this uh, Elizabeth Mott eyeshadow it's a champagne color Now for this highlighter I'm uh, taking all the uh, pigments which are more uh, champagne in color but if you want your highlighter to be more bronzy you can put more bronzy uh, eyeshadows or pigments in your highlighter as well So first I'm going to put this highlighter and then I'm going to mix it really well and I'm going to take another uh, this a uh, loose uh, pigment from Kaleen and again it's a champagne color I'm going to put this in. And for the quantity of the pigments, if you want more glow in your highlighter, just put more of the pigments. And take your time to really mix in the mixture cuz pigments they usually take time to mix with liquid. So this is how it's going to look. It's looking so nice, you guys. The texture, the consistency is almost similar to that Jelly Bean highlighter. It's very fluffy as you can see. 
Now I'm going to apply this on my hand just to show you guys how this highlighter looks like. And can you guys see how beautiful, how pigmented and how blinding this highlighter is? I mean, it's so beautiful you guys and it's blending so easily. And in summer especially, if you want to apply it on your legs, on your arms, if you want to glow like a goddess. I mean, it's going to look seriously beautiful and I'm so happy I did this. And that's why I made so much of it so that I can apply it on my body as well, especially in summers. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can apply it on your cheeks. I would suggest don't use uh, brushes, use either your fingers or a damp sponge. So I'm going to just take small amount of product first. So I'm going to apply it on the highest points of my cheeks. Can you guys see? It's so pigmented and so beautiful you guys. Now I'm going to wait for a few seconds and then I'm going to blend it with my fingers. And you can even apply a powder highlighter on top of it, but wait for it to dry completely. And as you can see, it's blending really nicely with my fingers. But if you want, you can use a damp sponge also. Now I'm going to apply a second layer of this product just to see whether I can layer on this uh, product or not. And I'm taking very small amount of product. And again with my fingers, I'm going to blend in. And I'm really surprised that it's not taking out my foundation. And you can layer uh, on this product. You can apply a second layer as well if you want a very uh, intense glow on your face. And the texture of the highlighter has completely changed into powder. It's not wet. And can you guys see it's not looking patchy at all. And it's so beautiful. And you can layer on the product as I said. Let me show you guys how you can use it on your body as well. So just take a small amount of highlighter and just apply where you want to glow. So on my body, I'm just going to take a damp sponge. On the body, it's giving a very beautiful and subtle glow. But if you want uh, more intensity, again, you can layer on the product. So I really love how this uh, DIY turned out and I'm in love with this highlighter so do try it and do let me know in the comment section below if you want to watch more DIYs don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed this video please give this video a big thumbs up and follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter as well thank you so much guys for watching bye guys see you next time take care